Namaste, love and light, divine feminine. <clears throat> I hope y'all can hear me well. I hope all is well with you guys. And I see you all love and light, abundance, and prosperity. Okay. So, what I'm channeling right now, what I'm downloading right now is that there's an energy, okay, that's been like, could, this could be karmic or you or you're someone, you know, in your environment. Someone in your environment, okay? There, it could be a mature woman, maybe your mom or family member. Um, don't trouble her, cause I'm reading. They're sighing a lot right now, and somebody's been crying. Some fun, someone's been crying, okay, as well. Y'all could have been crying, okay. Or just karmic energies been crying, or family, whoever. Maybe they're crying because of what they've done to you, or or for what you have. You know, they could be crying for, for you know all the blessings you have and they don't have it. I don't know, but let's just see. I want to tap into your fortunes first. Spirit wanted me to tap into the triple cards. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna be off the low. I know y'all probably not going here. It's probably low. How is she being rude? Ask her. Yeah, I feel like you got changes coming in. I saw the privilege um lady. You have love coming in, you have merits coming in for you. Oh my god. Changes are coming in for you, divine feminine, quickly. You passed whatever test you went through, okay? Whatever spiritual battle you just came out of, you you won, okay? You're no longer in despair. There's an energy that is in despair right now, okay? I, you know, this person tried to steal your energy, tried to steal your life, okay? But you still came out on top, okay? And this, these people, this could be multiple people, they are in despair because your ancestors came through and fought for you to make sure that you don't be in that despair energy, all right? I feel like the moment that this person took something from you, it could be energetically, it could be something that is, like, tangible material. Your ancestors came through and fought, fought, fought until they gave it back. You're no longer feeling in despair, okay? You're no longer feeling in despair. This person was really trying to steal your energy. Community. Wow, yes, multiple people for some of y'all. It could be a community group. She did. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. I gave her a kiss after she messed up the carpet. Hold on. So, y'all came in. Okay, so, like, five. Bonnie, there was two of them. Nina ended up getting one, remember? No. Yes, it was two of them. Excuse me. Open the door. Say sorry.
Not nice. So my kids is over here fighting over it. Their their um baby dolls, okay. And they, it's like they have their each, but one wants the one that the other one have, and the other one don't want the one that she have, okay. Because I tried to swap, and sh the baby didn't want it. She wanted hers. Money, if you throwing stuff. But so yeah, and it was. <laughs> They both ended up just crying towards the end, like, oh, my God, I'm not getting my way. So these people in this community, okay, they could have been fighting over something that was yours, okay? And they're all in despair because your ancestors are coming for them, sending back whatever trouble they try to send your way, okay? Sending back. Sound like I said sitting back, right? Yeah, a lot of people are in concern right now. That ain't got nothing to do with you. You should not be in concern. All right, you should not be in concern. Maybe you worried about something's going to happen to you or because somebody, I don't know. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Main man. Okay, we have main male here. I'm about to say main man. So all this could have been about a man. All of this could have been about a man. Okay, and, and I, I've been getting this. Wow. All right, so just take it how it resonates. But, you know, all this is about a man. And everyone, I feel like this is either this man knows everyone in this community or this community knows exactly who this man is. Like, everybody knows this man. All right? And I feel like... You could be expecting something to come to be coming in for you. All right? I feel like you are expecting something completely different to come into your life. Okay? You're expecting something completely different. Okay? Some of y'all could be planning to go to Disney World. I feel like you have so much plans and, and things, you know, to do. You're not really worried about what this main male got to do or got to say or what other people have to say about it, all right? And I feel like your ancestors, about him, not about it, about him, but I feel like your ancestors, they're about to expose the truth about this main male, okay, or expose what really happened, okay? Like, your ancestors are dealing with these people right now, okay? And about to um, set up a lot of karma. Alright? You're about to receive a lot of money. Spirit wants you to focus on your money. Okay? Which is unexpected income. While these, while your spirit guys giving them karma, they're about, you're about to be receiving a lot of money. That's what you're expecting. Yeah, like, if you guys got money on your mind for a lot of you guys. Alright? You're trying to plan a trip. You know, you're trying to um, be self-employed or look for new employment. Alright? You're not really worrying about what, you know, whatever this main male got to say. <clears throat> or whoever this main male is. Alright, this main male could be talking about you. 
among other people, all right, saying that you are his his woman or something like that, all right, somebody is going around saying that y'all still together, all right, and they even though they got people on the side, all right, but I feel like for all of you guys, there's your name was talk of the town within some type of community, and it was about some type of fucking man. Somebody lied, and they're getting judged, okay, by God. Yeah, and they and I feel like they're about to receive some type of message from God as well, okay? Like the karma's about to um go through some form of karma, all right? And it's like they're gonna receive a message about the the karma that they're about to receive, okay? I, I know that don't make sense, but I don't know. Maybe it's going to be a letter. Maybe it's going to be like divorce papers. Maybe it's going to be someone um receiving like a a letter of saying that they're losing their house. They haven't paid the mortgage on the house. Okay, I feel like for some of you guys, this is a fake family member. This is false person in um family room that's doing all this, and they life about to fall apart. They about to lose their house. They may even lose their marriage. All right, so with this, I feel like somebody lover about to leave them hanging. And about to leave all the bills, everything on them. And I feel like somebody was doing spell work to mess with your money so you won't be able to pay your bills. And that's coming back around onto them. Alright, but I'm feeling a strong vibe that somebody did something to you that could have affected you in the distance horizon. And I feel like... That's a message from God that this person was trying to send you to jail in the near future. Like, they was plotting and planning to send you to jail over this man. And I'm getting that it was they're going to go to jail. It was false. These was false um, allegations. And I feel like if these charges were to, were to be pursued, all right, either, and I'm now hearing drop charges, okay? So somebody could have potentially tried to send um, press charges on you to get you locked up, okay? But then now they're trying to drop the charges here, okay? Because I'm here because they got their main mail back. Like I said, well, okay, so this main mail could be somebody else's man within the community, okay? And we've been getting that somebody thought that you wanted their man, okay? And they were trying to send you to jail because of that. And or this main man was trying to send you to jail based off of what other people in the community were saying about you. All right. About whatever rumors or gossip that was going on. OK. I, either way, jail was 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 involved here. This person was pressing charges on you about. Yeah. About a lover. Overall, it's about a lover here. And it was and they never they never left them. Their lover, their lover left them because they're a false person. OK. Maybe they sleeping around with people in the family I'm getting. Somebody is sleeping around on someone in the family. Maybe they trying to mess up. Okay, so maybe this whoever this karmic energy is could be sleeping around with someone. With this main male, their spouse, family members, brother or something like that. Yeah, and I feel like you guys are focused on building great fortune for yourself. This is false. These are false allegations that someone was trying to pit on, pin, pin on you. They was going to an officer saying that you're trying to kill them. They're, they're, they they was calling an officer saying that you're trying to kill them with magic for some of you guys I'm getting. They were saying you're trying to kill them with black magic. All right, and overall, it was about them. It was really because over this main male. It was either they were trying to protect this main male. Now I'm getting it's either they were trying to protect them or they thought that you had their main male or based off what this, you know, based off the lies that this main male could have said about you. All right. And I feel like that's the message that is going around now that you focusing on your business, your great fortune. But they had people convinced that you was trying to take they um take they man or they had people convinced um that you was an enemy towards this main male. They even had the police um confused, but I feel like the police is gonna go back to them. It's gonna go back towards this person who was um making false allegations towards you and they're gonna be coming to them about something that could be about a death, a sickness. Or something that, or their name is going to pop up in the system about something 
that they've done a long time ago that, you know, that mysteriously just pops up that could be pertaining to a death, okay? Or it's just going to end everything for this person the moment that these cops come back to them. It's like everything that this person was trying to throw on you is being thrown back at the cops, all right? In that case, it's going to be closed, okay? They had everyone convinced, though. They had an open case against you saying that you're trying to steal their man. You're trying to kill them and they man, trying to poison them. You're doing black magic. All this is going to come out in the near future. I feel like all that energy was blocked here. You don't even want this man now. You don't want this man. You focusing on yourself, your money. Then that's why everything's going to backfire on this person. It's like they thought they were going to catch you off guard. They know you're focusing on yourself and your business. And they thought they were going to catch you off guard trying to make false allegations against you and have people in the community um, also testify against you and lie in court. Lie under oath. That's illegal. Because when it would have came out that you're not messing with this main male, because for some of you guys, this main male don't even know you, all right? This this woman just thinks that you want her man, and she's freaking crazy. He's going to be like, I don't even know who this is. That's why for, for some of you guys, the charges are being dropped. Like, she's dropping the charges. Could be calling the, a, this, a, this cop or a lieutenant detective, investigator saying, just drop it. It's not true. They, 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 they're not with my person. They're not around my person. Stuff like that happen all the time, spirit is saying. You know, they'll freaking open up cases because they think that a potential woman is with a man, and then they'll just drop it. That's why they don't even like to take on cases like that, because they probably don't want to be serious. But they do anyway when they mention death. All right? And for all of you guys, it's coming out that this main male lied. Somebody may even admit that this, this main male may even admit that he lied. All right? Or somebody in the community is going to snitch on this main male. And saying that he was just using your name. As an excuse to get other people to um, gang up against you, okay, or lied on your name, okay, not well, lied on you. I'm gonna say use your name, lied on you, all right. And I feel like spirit is sending out a message to everyone that you're focusing on your great fortune and that your blessing protected, all right. And God is always working for you, all right. And you working on yourself, you working on your business. I don't know what card flipped out, but I'm going to put them back. I feel like they was all, whoever this person is, was like, okay, if it was a woman thinking you want her man, she was extremely jealous of you. I have two videos talking about that. All right. I feel like other people in this group are jealous of you, too. Yeah, courthouse. Listen, this main male, if he started all this drama with you, he's being judged. He's going to have to go to court. All right, and for all of you guys, someone's this a main male is gonna be subpoenaed to court. Okay, I'm seeing it how it would have played out if this woman would have, you know, pursued with these false allegations. This main male would have to been would have to be subpoenaed to court. All right, and spirit is telling me she would have liked that because remember he left her, so this is a, like an excuse for her to see him again. All right, and really find out if he's creeping with you or not. Okay. But anyway, she would have liked that he being subpoenaed to court just so she could find out if it's true. But this person would have been confused, all right? He would have been like he's on his own path, okay? He's doing his own thing. Some of y'all don't even know this man. This lady, she just crazy. I'm calling a group of her friends. They're just crazy. I don't see things ending well for this person who did this. Either it's the male or a crazy-ass woman. I don't see things ending well for both of them, for either or. Just because the courts are involved, Spirit saying about this main male. And this main male know a lot about what goes on in this crazy lady life in that group of community folk. So if there's a phone call that's going to be 
if this main male receive a phone call from the courts or some type of adjudication system, okay, adjudication system, <laughs> whatever, okay, the judge or whatever like that, um, judicial system, there we go, judicial system, okay, he's going to tell everything, he's going to run his flap and tell everything, because you remember he left this lady in the beginning because she's crazy, okay, and she started plotting in her mind of who could be out here with her man, I'm telling you, some someone's going to receive a phone call, and I think it's this main male, his name got caught up all up in the, the courts, the, 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 the um, police system and stuff, all right, the justice system. I feel like this is a blessing in disguise for you because you get to go on about your business. You get to go on it with your journey. And these people in this community group, they all going to go down because this main male knows exactly what they do. All right, he knows exactly what they was doing behind closed doors to you and to him because he left her because she's false. Okay? And yo, and if this is not about a crazy witch after y'all because she think you with her man, Okay, let's just be real. She's a witch. Okay, rather she do black magic or not, she's a witch. It, uh, and if there was a male that was bothering you, he's going to have to go to court. And it's going to be based off the karma, all right, that he's receiving for how for what he did to you, okay? And you're going to receive money. You may even receive child support from this person. All right, this is a blessing in disguise for you. You get to go along your path. This is a blessing. Hooray. Great fortune. Hooray. And you're going to find you a, a wealthy man. Not this man. No, your own wealthy man, okay? This person really was thinking that you had a man trying to lock you up. And I feel like this, for some of you guys, this person may even know, always knew all along that you wasn't studying a man, but they was jealous of you. So they did all, they made that as an excuse. All right, they evil. And they group, and their little group clan is evil, okay? And they all shall pay. They're being fake. They over here, every, and I'm getting that everyone is pretending like it's, no. All right, Spirit is saying everyone's going to pretend like they don't know each other. And everyone is pretending right now like nothing happened, like they don't know what happened, like they don't, like, the police was not just involved, investigators and shit. Look, it was false, that's why I ain't no, that's why this, it's like a cold case, there's no case, it's false, no decision was made because it was false, and you're not going to be in despair, alright, they try to leave you in despair though, and you're not going to be left in despair because your ancestors got your back and they protected your gift, your legacy, your blessing, alright, they protected your gift, your legacy, your blessing. This is crazy. Oh, my God, you guys. Please laugh right now. Please laugh. That's what they get. Everyone's going to be taken down. Yeah, they're going to have to work hard to get themselves out of this hole that they dug up for themselves over this damn man. She's this person. they going to listen. Let me not say anything. Look, you coming into sudden wealth, and that's that's without a doubt. That's without a doubt. If this person was trying to do trying to do black magic to stop your sudden wealth from coming in because that's what you're expecting, all right, God said, nope, you can't stop that. That's coming in for you without a doubt, okay, because this is your life. This is meant for you, all right? It's not meant for this person. It's meant for you, okay? Had other people in their family involved too, girl. Listen, they was going in. Look, keep, and you working. I was about to say keep working, but no. Let me finish my sentence. You was working. And they over here telling people that you want they man, that you have sex for money. You a sex worker. They told somebody a story that um that you was trying to get they man to have sex with you for money. They was making up all type of lies, all right, Start spreading all type of rumors, okay, gossiping about you. I told you they had someone in their family, even could have paid someone in their family to take you down. Like, I'll pay you, all right? And I'm getting tipped. They was, you know, they was, you know, tipping the um cops and the in the um police about about you like your your whereabouts your next moves and stuff like they really had the police involved like they really had to convince all right they really had the police convinced that um you was doing something wrong and keep in mind that this is um through spell work all right they was doing um spell work for the cops to be on their side that's what I'm also getting that some of this was through spell work like it was manifested for you to go to jail okay the end in, in the midst of calling the cops so things could work out for them and that's why things is about to turn right back around on them okay everything about to turn right back around on them just because they were doing spell work all right look oh, over a lover situation all right because they think that you are the, the third party in a lover situation because they swear that they person is cheating on them all right no they get in karma all right, somebody's getting a divorce, too. Someone's getting a divorce, okay, and they're going to want a divorce. After all this happened, they're going to want that divorce, too. They, they, they're not going to be able to withstand being around this person after 
they do whatever they about to do to them. Because this main man, he is pissed. He is pissed that he went through all of this shit. He is pissed off. Okay? He is pissed off. Okay? He's pissed. That the detectives are calling his phone. Lawyers, okay? Look, call, calling his phone. It's like a whole bunch of people calling his phone. Alright? Listen. This is not good. This is not good. Okay? Concerned. Yes. This main male is in concern right now. Because he's trying to figure out what, you know, what to do next. Like, this, their person who they left is too difficult. They have to get a divorce. That's what the main male is thinking right now. He has to get a divorce because this, this woman is too difficult. Her and her community group, they're too crazy. He was getting attacked by them too. <laughs> and you too. Yo, karma. Because this woman was not just attacking you. She was also attacking him. All right? And whoever else he was with, which is why she was attacking you, all right? And your child here, there was a cha attacking your child here, and there's, this woman was even attacking his sperm, so he won't get no one else pregnant. She was doing all type of shit. It's about to go down. Basement, Friday the 13th, guess who's playing Jason? Period. It's about to go down. It's about to go down, Divine Feminine. You are in the clear. These official people, they're not coming to you. They don't even know your name. That's what I'm getting. Like, you're, like they don't even remember who you are. Okay? That's how you know the ancestors cleaning that shit up. Your name cleared up and everything. Take you to jail for what? You ain't do anything wrong. Take you to jail for what? You ain't do nothing wrong. And that's what the ancestors saying. The cops ain't, they, they shitty anyway. Most of them. They ain't getting nowhere. Uh-huh, and the, listen, listen, they thought that was the way to take you out. They thought it was going to take you out by sending you to jail and using they lover name as a uh, as a clutch, okay, to say that you sleeping with a man to get other people to the bandwagon against you. All right, this is the first, listen, the cops are coming to their house in the near future within the next three to six months or 36 days. All right, they and I, and they still gonna be wishing death upon you, but they gonna be in jail, so it doesn't even matter. But they still gonna be wishing death on your journey, okay? And what I'm also getting is that they wanted you to die along your journey here. They want you to rot in hell, rot in prison. All right, they were thinking that you was with a man, like oh you, they left you, he left me for you. That's what she was thinking. She's crazy. She's sick in her man, her head. And this man do not have a lot of money, not as much money as the man that's coming into your life. So why would you want him anyway? The hell he working? I feel like this man could be working. <laughs> I'm here six jobs. Damn, I don't think he's working six jobs, but he's working extra hard to try to take care of this little family dynamic, and she's making it difficult, running the man away, running the man away. Okay, I feel like this masculine energy tried, and he can't do it anymore. Okay, he can't do it anymore. So he's getting a divorce. She was even stealing his money, going to his bank account, stealing his money. And he'll ask if you take money. She's like, yeah, I needed it needed it for this or that. We're married. We're supposed to do that. She was doing a lot. She was doing a lot here. She thought that they were old together. Okay. They about to pretend like they don't even know you no more, like I said. All right. She thought you stole her man. I'm telling you, you just, and you out of state. Some of y'all, y'all out of state, y'all far away. Y'all are far away, 10 plus hours away from this person, but yet they with you. All right, they even, I'm getting a tracker. They may even have a tracker on this person, and they know that they not with you here, but they, they lying, telling other people that they are with you to have other people take you down, okay? Now, I'm sorry, I know I, the story kind of turned into that lady thinking that you want her man, but that's what, that's kind of how it's coming out. All right, now let's get back into if it was a main male. All right, maybe someone did not want to pay child support, but I'm getting someone's going to have to pay child support no matter what. But some spirit is saying this is a part of the story for some of you guys. Okay, this could have been a family member thinking that you wanted her damn man. Okay, and she was teaming up with your ex to take you down. For other you guys, it's just it's, it's, it's a random. So like like you know her, but not like that. Okay, or you ain't know her long enough. I don't know. Y'all just take how it resonate, man. I'm gonna just keep continuing telling the story. Because I know it's not going to resonate with everyone. Because not everyone's story is crazy like this. Alright, yeah, look, they're jealous because you're a privileged lady. They're jealous because you are a privileged lady. You're blessed. And by you have being so blessed, it's like they automatically thought it had to be you. Because you have a better life than them. You are better than them. They're just, this, this woman is insecure. This woman is insecure as hell. 
All right, and yeah, they're false. They're a false person. You see how she's dressed up nice? She's dressed up nice too, but she's in red. She's karmic, okay? You in white, you're pure. All right, she may have money and luxurious things, but that's not enough. Look, she controls this man. Whoever this main male is, hold on. Yes? All right. Can, can she use, uh, um, here, let me give her my phone. Give me my remote. You want phone? Here, give me my remote on the floor. Here, you can use phone. It's on the floor. Oh, thanks. Here, can y'all go so I can finish this reading, this reading, this reading? Go ahead, Mino, go in the living room. Nah, uh, you trying to get? Are you spraying that um that that spray? No, okay, so that's the what the wax spray. Good, I'm fine. We in my room. Let me look for. Hold on, y'all. I'm not gonna cut this part out. Sorry. Y'all heard my kitties um, fighting, right? They always fighting. That's what sisters do. I'm gonna listen to the raccoon one. Okay. The song is called Solstice, though. Alright, that solstice energy is still lingering around from that winter solstice. Maybe, you know what? Maybe the 2020 conjunction energy is still lingering. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's still conjunct. Okay, I'm in conjunction, but I feel like the energy is still lingering because a lot of timelines were set. Saturn set a lot of karm lines for karmics, and Jupiter set a lot of timelines for the ascended light workers. Okay, and Saturn set some lessons for you guys too, of course, and um Jupiter did the same for the karmics. But it's a choice there, you know, and it's whatever timeline that they choose to ascend to. Okay. Okay, but yeah. She has stuff, too, but she's jealous, okay? She may have royalty, a royal bloodline, too, but she comes from a karmic bloodline, royal bloodline, from hell, all right? She dragged this man right into hell, okay? She's a demon, all right? But she controlled this man. She controlled him. He be in the background, just standing there watching. She got him under control. That shit is not funny, all right? It's not funny. Yeah, this could be a... <laughs> Look here, this person could could be married with them. And you in a whole relationship elsewhere for some of y'all. And they wanted to kill you and your person or send y'all to jail. Kill y'all through sitting in spirit and saying, and steal your um, blessing. Steal something from you. Change your, your life. All right. God thought about it. Spirit thought about it. And it was, <laughs> yo, spirit is funny. They thought about it. And it was like, just send the cops to that person. Just send the cops on to them. Just, just guide the cops towards that person who's calling the cops on divine feminine because you got money. If an official person coming to your door, it's it's a life insurance policy. <laughs> okay, no, I don't mean to say it like that. But, you know, or it's a lottery ticket, man, or a public clearinghouse. It's somebody knocking at your door like, hey, you got some money here. Yeah, a message of money. That's what's coming your way, a message of money. That's the journey that you're on, receiving money, okay? You're not worrying about somebody else's marriage or love life. What the hell? What the hickety hell wrong with this person? You are more ascended than this person. They probably in the t they can probably tap into the eight up up into the eight dimensions because they their soul journey ascended to that high. You are up. You are twelve and beyond, honey. You are twelve and beyond and the dream state. All right. The song is called Like This. Okay. So I feel like you may have showed this person how to do something here, or they claim that they showed you how to do something. For some of y'all, this could have been your friend. Now I'm getting that this could have been your friend. Okay, their friend wanted you dead. All right, I'm hearing. Listen, if this is your friend, they had other people around them doing the same thing to you. Okay, they all about to be in poverty. All right, and I feel like their friend left them in poverty. Like they could have, their friends could not be talking to them anymore, or they all just about to have a hard not life. Hard not? I don't know. Is they about to have a hard life? Okay, playing, being tricksters and jokers and shit. Look, mature man. Came out, so I feel like again, this is that male energy. This is about a male, a man. All right, this woman thought that she, that the man was taking care of you and your kids and everything. Like she was deranged. All right, all because he left her. 
All right, look, he was she was trying to kill him. She was she was trying to kill him. She was, and she tried to tell the police that he tried to kill her to be with you. Oh my God, I can't make it up. She even involved the man name and said that you and him both are trying to do this. Okay, you and him both are. Oh my God. Yep, this false person pretended that they were sick, okay? And I feel like they didn't involve their family in everything, but they and family was involved, with, like, with the police reports and shit. But they didn't tell them that they was lying and, and scheming and shit and being a trickster. They didn't tell nobody this. They kept that with themselves, all right? And they didn't tell they, they family that they were trying to steal your blessings, too. They didn't tell their family that. Because they could have tried to get, yeah, like I said, they got their family involved. All right? And they had the cops, they had the police call the cops. But they didn't tell the, the um, they didn't tell the cops that they tried to do all these things to you. And that you the privileged lady. They try to make it seem like you trying to steal their blessings, but they ain't got shit. They ain't got nothing. That's why they going to jail. They, and their family ain't dealing with them anymore. All right, their family is not dealing with them anymore, okay? Because you the privileged lady, you come out on top. That's what Spirit is saying. Because you the privileged lady and Spirit got you. Spirit protects you. Spirit going to do anything that they can and they will power to keep you in that higher power here. All right? The police didn't believe that that whole you, you trying to sleep with a man or you doing black magic to kill him. Spirit, the police didn't believe that. They just stood there, wrote up the story, sound like a good story, and they went about their day. They're not about to try to find you and arrest you because of that. They're not dead. They're not sick. All right? They claim that you're trying to steal their blessings, and they still blessed. So they ain't got nothing. The cops ain't worried. You ain't got nothing. They ain't got nothing to worry about. All right? And you don't either. Monty, can you close the door? All right? The song is called Space Suit. So you're, even your galactic family came through. Like, just crack it, baby. Even your galactic family came through because these people were trying to case you up to and, and send you to jail. All right, they were trying to send you to jail. Yeah, and I feel like that's what spirit is telling you through your mind, through your thoughts and your crown chakra that this this woman who's probably older than you about six years, all right, she was trying to send you to jail. Spirit was trying to warn you that she was plotting a plan to lead you down a pathway of freaking imprisonment, all right, telling the police everything. I'm hearing the doctors here. She's even lying on a doctor's name saying the doctor said that she got this and that. All right. Oh, my God. I'm hearing leukemia. Some of my comments posted that. So, and I just saw police drive past. They going to, the police is going to be coming to their house. All right. The police going to be coming to their house. But, yes, it was plotting a way for the police to come through, giving the police your name and everything. I feel like that, with this distance horizon, I feel like that just, you know, went away in the distance horizon. Like, it's in the cosmos, in the ethers, and... With this change, spirit is about to change it to go back to that person and their and their lover. All right, you about to enjoy your own courtship. But yeah, look, imprisonment. Oh my God, I can't make it up. I can't make it up. Not saying that person gonna go to jail, but they person gonna be dealing with the court system here. All right, because they was telling them lies, telling the court system lies, saying that, <sighs> saying that you and their person is trying to kill them. They told, they gave them a whole bunch of stories and lies. Okay. A whole bunch of them. And I... Mm, mm. First it was you trying to kill um her for her man. Now it's the man and her trying to kill her. Okay? I mean, the man and you trying to kill her. The man and you trying to kill her. That don't make sense. Yeah, the song's called Lone Wolf. She's mad because she's a lone wolf. Stuff is about to go down in the distant horizon as well. She's mad. In the, in the near future, she's going to be mad at this mature man. Okay? At this main male, her person. All right, because, and I feel like she's going to be sick in the distant horizon, too, and he ain't going to be there for her. She may get C-19. Yeah, he may hear that his ex-wife, okay, all right, baby mama or whatever is sick, and he's not going to care. He's not going to visit her. And I feel like the family is, is going to reject him as well because she's making up, she's telling lies and rumors, okay, making up lies and spreading rumors about this male. And after everything hits the fan and he divorced her and leave her, you know, the cops, you know, finally disappear. The family is going to hate him because she's going to convince the family that, that he did this to her, that he ruined her, and that, you know, he broke her heart, all right? So even if he wanted to see her, he can't because the family is blocking that off, all right? The family is blocking that off. 
Alright? For some of you guys, y'all have inheritance. And the family could be blocking you off for that. It don't matter because it, they can't change it. With the adjudication in reverse, I'm getting that the, a decision can't be changed. Alright? The King of Swords reverse will, will represent that. Like, he's not changing his mind. He's stuck on what it is. Alright? So, it's like they can't change it. And I'm having deja vu. Alright? Because this happened before. This happened in a past life. Okay? Or well, this could be happening in a whole other dimension. Alright? But, um, it's, it's, it's for you. It's for you. It's only for you. All right. And, you know, courtship would have your lover as well. Cause some of y'all, y'all going to get married and you're going to share this wealth, you know, your inheritance with your person. Y'all going to move in together or something like that. Or you may message your person and let them know your future person if you find someone. <coughs> like, I, I, we can do a lot together. I feel like you're going to receive a lot of messages and downloads and stuff about the future, near future. This person going to be picking up shit downloads and stuff about how they're gonna get sick yeah because the sacrifice was made somebody could have made like three different sacrifices on you three to seven all right just to just to make sure this shit work and they thought it was going to work but it's not working it's going to work spirit said it's going to work but not on you because you didn't do nothing wrong she lied on this man understand that she lied on this man okay just a plot to send you to jail you are great fortune it's they trying to send a, a royal you got us into jail over somebody else's marriage they got nothing to do with you all right and then the cops would have came here and saw that you're not even with no one's man All right, house. They was even trying to tell the cops to check your house. There's black magic in your house. There's drugs in your house. All right. I feel like if the cops would have came, it would have been in the far distance, in the distance horizon. Like, and by then, this is what I'm seeing. If this would have worked out in this person's favor, all right, they, they was trying to kill you with sickness as well. So by the time the cops finally did come to you because spirit is not allowing that to manifest, you would have been dead of sick of, of a deadly sickness. All right, because they it was that was a plan. If you can't go to jail, you want to die. All right, this person gonna get sick real soon. Real like they may even get leukemia. Okay, because I'm hearing that again. They're gonna I'm telling you somebody pathway is going is, is imprisonment. They try to make that for you, and that's changed. Okay, that's changed here. Okay, it's changed. And this lady, this crazy ass wife or witch girlfriend, baby mom, whatever, she was doing this. All right, doing this, tipping the cop. Telling her what, telling the cops what she think is right, what her intuition is telling her. I feel like the cops probably thought like, hmm, you probably stole her man. I, <laughs> the cops thought to themselves, you probably stole her man. Okay, like, cause that shit was just too crazy. They was going on about it too crazy, okay? And the cops look at you like, you probably great fortune, all right? And you too far away anyways. They can't do nothing because a lot of you guys, this was out of state. For some of you guys, this shit was out of state. Okay, so they can't really do much anyway, but they reported it. The fuck? They reported it. That's wrong. Okay, I'm telling you, they was thinking, like, maybe there's something in that person's house. Like, maybe there's this. Because somebody, maybe when they went to the, the person's house, it felt haunted or they feel like a demon or some shit. They questioned, like, maybe there's something in their house. Maybe there's a murder weapon in their house. Yo, this woman may try to murder this man. This woman may try to murder this man. Yo. Because I picked up early in, in, in the beginning of the reading. I just didn't say it because I didn't understand the story. The man is on his his way back to her. All right? Maybe to say that he wants to get a divorce, he wants to break up or whatever like that. I don't know. But when they see, when, when they come around each other again, she may try to kill him. This is crazy. And I feel like the, the reason why, you know, he could be coming back to get his stuff. Or to discuss about the cops calling. I feel like he's really mad about that. Because she lied and spread all type of lies and rumors about you and this man. Look, marriage, look. And it's going to be it's gonna be rumors spreading around. All right? Just like how they were spreading your name around, day marriage is going to be all over town. Everybody going to know what's going on. Somebody name start with an M. Everybody going to know what, what happened. Okay? It may even be reported by the police. Like, it may be like a little uh, article or some shit. Okay? On, on a newsstand or on the news. I feel like, or the official person, this man is going to be telling, um, the official person, which I'm getting is a man, he's going to be telling the main male, the husband, the boyfriend, whatever, everything that she said, all right? And that's when he's going to be like, I need a chance of this, this lady trying to kill me, all right? Or I'm going to end up in jail. That's what he's saying. He's going to end up in jail, all right? And if y'all have a business, this lady was attacking your business as well. This is just crazy. This is crazy, y'all. Y'all should be happy, though, because y'all got your power back. 
All right, y'all get to take a leap of faith and you get to do you. This person was is a thief. I'm going to clarify this thief pathway. All right, and great fortune. All right, they were trying to change your outcome. They were trying to change your whole life. They were trying to change your whole life, divine feminine. They were trying to change your whole life. All right, they were trying to change it all. Yeah, I'm just spreading the ashes everywhere. I want to clarify change too, but your journey is going to be different. And I'm a, this person going to be, this. I'm telling you, this mature woman, she's going to be in fucking jail. All right, because this man going to send her to jail too. He's going to send her to jail. All right. Because she took a leap of faith into the unknown, into the darkness. Why is Steph here? All right. Yeah, she was trying to steal your Ace of Pentacles. She was trying to steal your joy. And for some of you guys, she was trying to steal your man. She was trying to steal your man. That's why the cops thought about it. Because for some of you guys, this is your man. And she tried to steal your person, tried to steal your baby, your pregnancy, everything. He could have, listen, he really could have left her for someone else, which is you. Okay, but it's like she's not telling everyone that y'all been already separated. Okay, it's not like he just left you and then found you like two days later. Like y'all was already separated. She just never got over it. Okay, well, they was already separated. She, the girlfriend just never got over it or the wife or whatever like that. She didn't want you and your person to be in love. Okay. You're a nice, sweet person. I don't know why they did this to you. Page of Pentacles here in the reverse. So I feel like whatever whatever they was work, trying to work against you just did not work out with the Page of Pentacles reverse. You know, that pathway of them trying to send you to jail, that shit just did not work out because it was lies. It was based around lies and manipulation. The hell, and this man knows this. He knows that she's dishonest and that she be lying on her intuition too. And if somebody was saying they, they feel intuitively, you're a star. I didn't even get a chance to clarify a great fortune. The star flipped out. You're, you're destined for stardom. I can feel it. You're destined for all these great things. You're going to have it. You're free. Oh, my God. Divine Feminine, you are free. Okay? You are free. Yeah, they tried to send the cops on you, but it was just, they, you know, I'm getting like it was a thought in a sense of they did do it, but it's not going to manifest. Let's just say that. Like, the official person could have thought, like, hmm, if we do, we may have a case, but we really don't because ain't nothing really happened. All right? I don't know. That's just what I'm getting. Like, it was just a thought. And, you know, thoughts are manifestation. It was just a manifestation. It was just a manifestation. It was not real. It's not going to manifest. You're destined to be a star. You may be worrying about your destiny, your life path, okay, your stardom, your your um, inheritance, your riches. Nothing's going to change. This person is dishonest here, and it was just jealous. They're broken down. They're broken down. And they think that they may have coming back to them to, to be with them, but it's not going to be a happy ending. I can't make it up. God is going to make sure of that because this person tried you. You are a child of God. All right, you are the sun. They got some nerve. Why is change here? The devil here in the reverse. Yeah, they was trying to bind, bind you to some type of toxic karmic cycle, which is jail. The devil will be imprisoned too because he, he got them chained up, all right, originally in the, the tarot deck. All right, Capricorn energy here, Aquarius energy. All right, listen here. You're not bound to that, that karmic timeline or cycle. You're not bound to it. All right, they even paid people, too, to do this to you, and that shit ain't worked. That was non and void. You're about to really find out how powerful the ancestors are, and I feel like this person about to find out how powerful the ancestors are, too. You, They about to really find out, and you about to find out, because you about to be in so much. You about to be an official person, literally. All right, to the point you're going to be a damn ball. All right, or the, the cop's going to be on your side, okay? If this shit wasn't hit the fan, and you just, you know, had to go and deal with this shit. All right, because it, it, it was just taking that far. All right, the cops gonna be listening to you, cause you divine. You got you, you're pure. You got energy around you that's in. It's like innocence energy, where people pick up on it and see that you're innocent. They'll be surprised if you did this, <laughs> okay? But people not gonna be surprised that this person lied on you, cause they lied on others in the past. All right, but you gonna be surprised how the ancestors get down for you, divine feminine. How they just they treat you like a star, a goddess, and all that. How they just do you so well. You gonna be surprised. You're going to be surprised. All right? Nothing is working out for this person no more. Nothing is balanced for them. And no more imbalance, Spirit is saying. No more imbalance. It's just time for you to be that king of pentacles, all right? You're free. Like I said, you're free. I don't know why. Y'all don't need to ever worry. Anybody using magic against you, no. It's not going to work, okay? This person, they walking away. You free. Listen, yeah, I get to take my leap of faith. Finally, this person's trying to block you with the justice system. And that shit coming back around on them. They don't even care about their life. They don't even care about their damn life. Not as much as you care about yours. This person don't care about no one but themselves and that damn person. Why is journey here? I want to say, why is jealousy here? Let's find out why this person is jealous. But why is journey here? They're jealous of your journey. That's what it is. That you're a privileged, privileged lady. They're jealous at how, throughout your journey, throughout your lifetime, you became so privileged. 
privileged and knowledgeable and wise, smart, beautiful, intuitive. The song is called Still Shining. They're jealous because you're still shining here. Look, five of wands here in reverse. You're coming out of conflict with these people. Your future journey is you coming out of conflict with these people in the sense of you don't have to worry about their drama no more. You avoided all their towers. God, God and spirit blocked all of them. They was unsuccessful and that shit is coming right back around onto them. Right back around onto them because it was using other people to plot against you to sink you towers. Okay? Using other people to, to send you towers. Alright? And yes, throughout your journey, you definitely had to go, you was up against a lot of people. Alright, but you're coming out of that. Let's get one more. For that journey. Yeah, look, you're coming out of hermit mode. Okay, with the hermit reverse, I feel like you're coming out of hermit mode because hermit mode, this person tried to keep you in the dark, keep you stuck, and you're coming out of that. I know the hermit reverse don't mean that, but I'm I'm getting that. Like, you're not going to be in hermit no mode no more. You're not going to be attached to these, these karmics. Like, they're not going to be attached to you. You're not going to have to worry about them. You're not going to have to go into hiding. All right, you're free. They, they are released. They had no choice but to release themselves. These karmics, man. There's a karmic that's worried about you sending um her to jail. It could be this one, but I'm not really feeling that strongly. I feel like this man is gonna do it. It could be another karmic that did you wrong. She's worried about you sending her to jail. Okay. Cause she was doing witchcraft on you too. But she's old news, spirit of saying she's still stuck on the old, okay? She's still stuck on the past. She could be mentally ill, too. Let's go into imprisonment. All right, look, nine of swords. Mental in prison. Somebody, I'm, I feel like this is confirmation for that person. All right, who I'll just channel. Like, y'all have a friend that's also afraid of going to jail because of what she did to you. All right, she could know these people and she could know this woman, okay? Or someone in these groups as well. I don't know. Take how it resonates, y'all, because I'm getting that, um, I'm getting that strongly that this friend could know people in that community that was doing this to you, okay? Don't have to be, but she's worried. She's going to she's gonna die stressing over her going to jail behind what she did to you, okay? She's going to die stressing. She's praying for protection, but she's crying. She wish she didn't do what she did to you because I'm hearing murder, murder, murder. Like, she's in her mind thinking, like, I committed murder or I could have committed murder. Like, these people are weak. They're weak. They out here trying to kill people. Poison people, but they can't handle it. Okay, you they can't handle that guilt. All right, somebody's in a um in men, mental imprisonment. Okay, it's bad juju with the justice reverse. I feel like it's bad juju that got this person all in their head. That came, it's bad juju that came back around onto them. And you're free, and she's also stressing about how you're free, how you're free spirited, how your life is just so much better than hers. All right, she's comparing, but she's not doing anything about it though. Last time she was trying to harm you. Now she's not. She could have been doing magic on you as well. Let's see why it's a mature woman here. She could be watching you, wanting to be your friend again. Y'all, there was, a, listen, this lady was plotting on you. Seven of Pentacles, mature woman. She was stealing your energy too, with witchcraft. She was, she was plotting on you for a while, for some of y'all. Alright, and all that's coming back around on her with the two of wands. All that's coming back around on her. Her energy that she sent on to you is on her, okay? Yup, her energy is open. Seven of Wands reverse. Her energy is open, and all that she sent on you is on to her. Yeah, this woman, she wanted to make you ill. She wanted to make you sick. For some of you guys, she even could have gotten you sick. All right, and you've only gotten sick, so spirit can warn you what this person is doing to you. But you're healed now. You're healed, and they can't mess with you no more. 
It was just a warning from spirit. And they could have called themselves warning you by making you sick, but you ain't need to be warned. You ain't need to be warned. Okay, you're the queen of cups. You're intuitive. You're psychic here. And I feel like you don't want her man. Her man did not want you. Straight up and down. All right? Y'all both didn't want each other. So she just, she lost her mind for nothing. She went bizarre and berserk for nothing. For nada. And you the queen of cups, you see everything. You know everything. Okay? The only card that's not, well, family woman reverse too. You are not in despair. Okay? You are not in despair. And these people's family is not messing with them. It's another card that's in reverse. And God is not changing his mind. Um, that is in reverse. I'm sorry. God is not changing his mind at all. Okay? But I am getting strongly that they were trying to get their they family up against you to call the cops on you and stuff like that. And it didn't work. It did not work. It did not work. It could have been a thought, too. It could have been for, um, for some of you guys, like, they try to manifest it, try to use magic for their family to do something, and it did not work. It did not work. And for other you guys, their family did do it, but it did not manifest. Okay? It was just a lie. It was all a lie. All right? It was all a lie. Love y'all. Namaste.